class so this is an optional video um, and I just wanted to show you the process of taking your model from ZBrush and retopologizing it in Maya and then bringing it back to ZBrush and projecting all of your models details onto the lower resolution base mesh. So let's get started. So I'm back in Maya and I'm going to do this layer by layer. You can absolutely do this with your costumes on. So that would mean that your pieces are like stationary. Um, but for me right now, I'm just gonna demonstrate it with um, just this like character base mesh. And the first thing you wanna do is duplicate that layer that you're going to decimate and bring to Maya. Um, once you decimate this layer, it's going to remove a lot of the information from before, like your paint and everything. Um, so you wanna make sure you have a duplicate. After I've duplicated this layer, I'm just going to rename it um, for decimation. Now I'm going to go up to my Z plugin menu and I'm going to click it and drag it to the right so that I can show you, um, like drag this into our tool bar menus just so you can actually see it a little easier. And you can collapse the tool menu and go to open up the decimation master menu. So there's a bunch of really interesting tools in here that you should definitely check out. But right now we want decimation master. So you can use these presets down below this 20K, 35K, 75K um, that will create a decimated mesh um, with these particular options. However, I'm gonna show you the other way of doing it, which is um, just press pre-process current. And what this is doing is saying to um, ZBrush, calculate this mesh with triangles and keep all of the details, but lower the resolution so that Maya doesn't have to deal with, in my case, 2.0. 023 million polygons because that will crush Maya. Um, so right now you can see underneath pre-processed current there's some information about percentage of decimation, um, thousands of polys, k polys, and k points. We're going to change after this is processed. Um, we're going to change that to 40,000 polys which should be enough to capture all your detail. If you happen to have a mesh that has crazy, crazy detail, you can um, increase this. So I'm just kind of waiting for that status line to show me that it is done. And then I'm gonna change my K polys to 40,000 polys and then hit decimate current. Please note that you could also do this with all of your layers if you want. So you could pre-process pre all of them and then decimate all of them at once, or you could do just the current layer. Okay, so it will definitely take some time for this processing. Mine took 45 seconds. And now I'm gonna go and change my polys to 40,000. And once I'm done with that, I can hit decimate current. And again, this will take a little time. And what it's going to do is just look at the geometry. Um, there is an option to use and keep polygroups, keep UVs, um, and to keep paint information up um, higher. But for what I'm doing right now, I just want to create this. Um, so once that's done, your model may turn white. And um, so now I'm going to go up to my tool menu and export it. So when you hit export, um, my format was set to OBJ, but I'm not sure if that was because it had already been, I'd already saved as an OBJ before. So make sure you're saving with an OBJ. That's a really easy format, um, very universal. That um, is just a general 
um, format. Okay, so now you can go into Maya. I'm gonna open a new scene. You can see I tested this out earlier. Not going to save. And I'm just gonna go to File and Import. From here, I can select my OBJ file and use the default settings to import it. And then um, once it's been imported, you'll see that you have your model um, with all of its nice detail captured. Now, when you click on your model, you'll see that the Decimation Master has created some pretty um, interesting topology, but that's okay. What we're gonna do is create a live surface from this model and make sure that symmetry is turned on. So in this case, I'm gonna use World X because I know my model is symmetrical. I'm gonna click on my surface. You can see it's very decimated and make it a live surface. So now um, we can use the quad draw tools to retopologize on this model. So that will be the next video, so stay tuned.